Hey everybody, it's Drew at Large Badger Media. Glad you're joining me today. Um, jumping on the bandwagon, I guess. Um, rolling with the Exelon here and the Jurassic Park stuff. Um, if you haven't seen one of these, this is one of the bundles. So there's the picture on it. There's the nice Aztecan, I don't know what you want to call it. Indigenous Central South North American peoples. So here's all the different stuff you get in it. You do get a free card, kind of like, um, you know, with Brothers War stuff, you got the the Transformer card, so similar but different. And the card varies, so I've seen um, a couple of these open, and, you know, I didn't realize that the card varied. I was watching a buddy of mine open a couple this weekend, and he got different cards in there, too, so there's that. Pretty cool. That's interesting. Jesus a scent. That's kind of entertaining. Maybe I'm easily entertained. I don't know. Man, that's a really nice box. This is one of the best magic boxes I've seen in a while. I've opened several of these. I really like this one. So, a cool box. Open it up. Get to the goodies inside. Here you go. So we have these these little inserts these days. Um, I use these as dividers in, in card boxes. We have the counters. Another cool little picture. I really like this. That design. That's, that's actually a pretty cool design. There's the cool dice with the symbol on there. It's a nice red. Not quite translucent. Very close. Much more close to opaque. We're going to roll for lucky 13. And we're going to roll a 1. Uh oh. That's a bad sign. Well, yeah. You know. He tickled the goblin, right? He feels oddly uh, surprised by it or whatever. So these are set boosters. You get your eight set boosters here. We have our sets. So um, here's our, uh, you got your Jurassic Park card and you have your free insert card. So we'll go ahead and look at these. I don't always open these, but we're gonna open it today. So here's Hit the Mother Load is a rare. And then we have all the foil regular lands. And I swear to you, this is the only place you can actually get the regular lands, is in these. Um, as weird as that sounds. Because when you open the packs, like, with, so far I've only, you know, I've opened a box, I've only gotten um, those really cool basic lands that they have. Alright, so here we go. And we get the Spitting Dilof, what is this, Dilophosaurus. Okay, in the Jurassic Park. I just got one Jurassic Park card, just go around. We'll put it over here in the rare, so we'll just go ahead and get that going, and then you get just regular set and a couple, a couple silly cards over here, and then just a regular set of of lands to go with that. And I guess we can just put you over here with it too, and that's a rare. All right, so without further ado, let's get cracking on here. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Hope you're enjoying this product. Um, I've enjoyed this product. All right, I made my. You know, working on my first dino deck. Never was really big on the dino stuff, but, you know. And if you've never opened these, they come with these art cards. Although this is all about to change, right? With the new, uh, with the new, uh, you know, play boxes or whatever. Getting rid of drafts and sets. And this will be it. So, I'm going to spend a lot of time on the commons or uncommons here. I mean, do get a few. And then we're going to get a showcase card. I guess I can separate these out. So I'm going to be honest with you, like, these are really difficult for me. Not only through the camera lens, just not not even with the camera lens, to tell the difference between some of these, uh, the, the commons and the uncommons. Like that, that, the silver on them really does not pop. Oops. So there's that. We have the Roaming Throne, which is actually a pretty decent hit. We have a Foil Accolade of Alcalataz, and we have our set. So this is a Modern Horizons list card. This is a throwback. You can tell the little symbol right here. This is a Segovian Angel. Wait, I don't think I've seen this before, but that's pretty cool. We get a throwback right there. That's called the list card, and we'll put it over there. So I um, hope everybody's doing well. Like I had said before, I'm doing pretty good. We're getting ready to go into Thanksgiving here. Pretty cool art card there. I'll just jump in here. Let's see. Well, we might get another list card if I can... Keep it together here. So now I spend a lot of time, but I do do my best to kind of separate these out into their commonality piles, I guess you could call it. 
I'm having trouble pulling these. This is back harder here. It's really sticky and wants to kind of do its own thing. See, and I'm not positive. I think this may be uncommon. Maybe get something different in that every time. All right, we have Corpses of the Lost, which I have not seen yet. And we have a Clay-Fired Briggs, which really, really wanted to show up. And a Barrow Ghoul. And this is from uh, Weather Lights here, so I'm not really sure if this is what the... I'll just stick it over here for now. It's common and common or rare. I'm not sure what the rarity is on that one. I don't remember. And this is, you know, they did this before they did uh, no rarity symbols. So that's a cool, you see it shaped like a bird or something. Pretty spiffy. Yeah, so here's what the normal lands in the in the packs look like. So these are the normal basic lands in the packs. So that's kind of what I was alluding to a minute ago. So to get the actual other ones, you actually have to open uh, these bundles to be able to get regular lands. Something shiny back there, we see ya. So I think those are common still. And here we go, the uncommons. Got the singing grave crawler. The chupacabra. Alright, here's this dude again. And we have oh and we have our first row. We have Quintorius Canned, which isn't too spiffy, but it is a planeswalker and it is a mythic, so we'll put it over there in its its spot. We have the bristleback dinosaur. And we have troll card. So I was like, wow, we're gonna get three list cards, but we just got a, we got just a troll card. So these uh, bundles come with eight packs. And this one has another troll card in there. We'll just toss that down there. A nice art card. Here's these cave lands. So kind of, this is kind of the, the other land set in here. And again, like I... Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, no. I can't tell. The spyglass, and then we have the grasping shadows. And a flippy flippy. Okay, and then we have a Jurassic Park land. So this is the other land set you get here. You see the Jurassic Park symbol. So these are the Jurassic Park lands. Pretty spiffy as well. And then poetic ingenuity for our rare... And then a foil Sage of Days, which is probably a common. I can't tell. Not sure how to do this. We'll stick this with the Barrow White, only because I just don't know what to do with it. So, pretty cool. I think that's the, the one of the most common ones I've seen. I've seen that particular land several times. So, here we go. We'll go into our caves here. And we have the Justice again for our uncommon. Spyglass Siren. Wow, I feel like I just opened this pack. And then we have It's Quith, the Firstborn. And the Borderless there. And then we have the Cosmium Confluence. Along with an Iron Paw Aspirant. That's a Cat Warrior. And we did get another list card. Doing really well off the list slot at the moment. This is like the third one. This is from like Urza Saga. That's the Spiked Fleet Horror. So down to our last three here. Shouldn't be able to roll through this pretty quick. I think I'm going to get a token this time. Oh, Vampire Demon. I was just thinking. I just pulled a card that had a Vampire Demon. I'm like, well, that's a cool card. I should make a Vampire Demon deck. I don't have that token, though. But then there it is. All right, look. Okay, so there's different uh, rarities on these caves, too. Like, I think it's this one. can't tell. I think this one is also a, uh, a common, but there are some different... Um, Rarities of the caves. It's not until the current conductor. I'm not sure he's conducting, but there you go. And then we have breaches, the eager pillager pirate goblin, and the showcase. And we have a squirming emergence. And then we have the wailing pirate for our foil psych. Common there. All right, last couple. So let's go through this. We got a token again. This time we just got a fungus token. It's kind of looks like a fungus wearing a hat. It's kind of interesting. Alright, we got the captivating grotto in the grotto. And here we go with the market gnome. The 
diamond pickaxe, creating minecart, and this guy, the great mistake. Now let's see what we get here. And we have the subterranean schooner for our artifact vehicle. Only crew of one, though, so that's not too bad. I actually hadn't seen this one. We have a shiny showcase Malcolm here. And here we go. Last pack. Last chance for romance. Let's open it up. Oh, I just busted it open. Maybe another list card. Maybe a troll card. Who knows? So there we go. Another cool mountain and this cool treatment with this nice uh, basic lens. And the Merfolk Cave Diver. And then let's see what we get here. The Sea Note Scout. We have the Idol of the Deep King. We have a treasure map for our rare. We have the Sunshot Militia and a foil and a troll card to end us all. Well, you know, what else can I say? I rolled a one at the beginning. It should have been a sign. This wasn't terrible. It just wasn't great. So I hope everybody has a fantastic day. We did get, um, we ended up with getting, you know, a couple of Jurassic things with um, our free Jurassic card and then Jurassic Land. These are 1 in 12 if you read the back of the pack. So. Overall, it is what it is. Like I said, I did roll a 1 with my dice, so we'll hope for better next time. Y'all take care. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment. You can leave me an F in the comments if you want. I don't feel like I did horrible, but here we are. Take care.